Hello once again YouTube and welcome to the revival of my YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't want to be dramatic, but too long has the domain been robbed of the new Halo Infinite set. But I say no more. We finally have most of the new Halo Infinite sets, including all the Halo heroes and so much more. So many blind bags, so many other Mega Constructs Black Series heroes. I am so excited about this parcel. And just a huge shout out to the guy who got me this parcel. Thank you very much indeed. This is, oh, this is gonna be so exciting. I, I, I can't wait. Glory to Halo Infinite, although it's been delayed. Good things come to those who wait, you know what I'm saying? A good thud means a good haul, if you ask me. Okay. What have we got here? This one just fell straight out. A Clash on the Ring blind bag. Don't mind if I do. Hey, Chips Dupo, Chips Dupo, Chappy Dupo. A great way to start the video. I have been army building these Marines like crazy. One more Marine reporting for duty. You join me, Simon, today in my brand new apartment. I really hope you guys enjoyed Travel Blocks episode three where we detailed more or less how we got this apartment. I am still in absolute awe of what happened. We lowballed an insanely low price on this gorgeous apartment and they accepted. All right, one more Marine joins the fold. He looks awesome. Uh, 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 uh. Halo Infinite sets, hey. I can't believe it's finally time. Okay, let's check out what's in this bag. This seems to be just some loose Halo heroes. It is. Okay, we've got Craig the Babe, Craig my hero, Craig the Brute. I hope you guys enjoyed my last video, Master Chief versus Brute Warrior opening. And I saw an amazing thread on that video from JJ the Spartan, where he was talking about Craig the Brute. And I mean, everybody, that everyone's just in love with this guy. It's so fantastic. I definitely think that Mega Constructs were sent the Halo demo ahead of time so they could mold the character designs because this is 100% Craig the Brute. Fantastic. Okay, that's the first Halo hero for today. A really nice figure. And also really cool how this is a very different figure than the Brute Warrior in the Master Chief 2 pack. It's nice that they're very different. Okay, what are the Halo heroes do we have? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Ooh, a Jackal Miner from Halo Heroes Series 9, I believe. His base plate is a nice, like, glassed blue. I don't know if you can see that. It looks, uh, it looks very interesting. I don't remember it being like that. A really interesting one that Mega Constructs decided to make into a Halo Heroes especially moving towards Halo Infinite, where the Jackal had been redesigned, but I guess they didn't know that at the time. Jackal Miner, take the stage. Next one. Ah, the Marine Sniper, awesome. Ah, I was so excited to get hold of this one. I think myself, along with the rest of the community, have some issues with the fact that the Marines are now taller than Spartans. That is a big issue. But this Marine Sniper looks awesome. These are kind of, these are funny to finally get in my hands because I've been waiting so long for them and I've seen pictures on Reddit and our forums and our Discord, which you should definitely join, of these figures. And it's interesting to finally see them in my hand, you know? Oh wow, that is a nice sniper. I didn't know there was a difference between this sleek silver and this sort of camo gray color. So many accessories. Oh yeah. First of all, it's, oh yeah, that, that helmet looks even nicer than Romeo's. I don't know if flash grenades will be in Halo Infinite or Mega Constructs just decided to put a flash grenade in from the Call of Duty sets because this is quite, this is quite clearly a Call of Duty figure that they wanted to make into Halo Infinite. Wow, yeah, the feet swivel on their own joint. That's really cool. Okay, and then we've also got a nice backpack for her. Really cool, like the Call of Duty figures, how you can put the flashbang and the tack pad on the actual legs and she looks really cool. She looks like she's ready to take on the Banished herself. The base plates for Halo Hero Series 12, I mean, they're okay. They're nothing close to what Series 1 to 9 were, but they're still nice. And then that helmet is badass. Okay. Got a little collection growing here. Marine Sniper sort of dwarfs Chips Dupo now. <laughs> We've got two more Halo Heroes in this bag. Ooh, this one. Oh, hey, it's the Elite Ultra. Finally, 
this elite okay now now first of all this elite was probably the most loved and also hated when the series 12 was announced just because people thought he was weird looking i'm gonna see for myself no he doesn't look weird at all wow i heard that like maybe there were just some unglamorous pictures taken of him during press reveal but he was actually a really good looking figure and yeah he looks he looks beautiful a nice sort of reach plasma repeater there i don't know if plasma repeaters are in the game um but there's that new plasma weapon so maybe not and yeah wow he has so many printed details he might break a record for the number of printed details on a figure he has so many on his chest and his shoulders his head He's got nice blue eyes that match the plasma repeater perfectly. What a gorgeous figure. Yeah, the Elite Ranger has won my heart. That's an awesome figure. And the last Halo Heroes from that little bag is a Spartan Centurion. Interesting. Okay. I have never seen this one in person before. This is really cool. Wow, really nice. That's also like an insane amount of printed detail. 343 in Halo 5 just kind of went overkill with all the printed camouflages and things. I mean, different helmets that come out of different gold packs, but they're only slightly different prints on the helmet. I'm not all about that, but this one looks really nice. I believe this is Series 9 too. I mean, it's got the blue base plate. And that's awesome. I don't have this figure, so this is really cool to get my hands on. I think it was maybe Walgreens or Dollar General had Halo Heroes for one dollar recently. So this is where most of them have come from. That's taken me by surprise. I didn't think I'd like this figure as much from the packaging, but that's really nice. This haul is already epic and we have so much more stuff. Let me know in the comments right now, do you know what set this is? And there are one, two, three, four, five bags. This is the Halo Infinite Warthog. I'm gonna do some very new video formats for these reviews, some new kind of stop motion builds, some very out there kind of reviews. I know you saw my last video, Master Chief vs. Brute Warrior Battle Pack. That was a very strange review on a boat. I'm gonna do way more of those and awesome. There's the Master Chief, the Master Chief vs. Brute Warrior Battle Pack. This has already been opened and reviewed by me and you should really check out that video. I saw a lot of people freaking out that I was displaying the figures in like precarious positions. They were all blue tech the entire time. So they weren't gonna go anywhere. Master Chief versus Brute Warrior. Ah, yeah, yeah. Where'd you go to? Oh no. I know you guys will really want to see the Master Chiefs compared side by side. Master Chief assembled off camera. Here's one I made earlier. Yeah, they look... They look pretty similar. The Master Chief 2 pack definitely has more detailing. This one from the Warthog has sort of like darker black paint applications, definitely on his face. I will never say no to two Master Chiefs. I won't say no to 10 Master Chiefs, maybe one of these days. Big boy box, what have we got next? We have in this haul over 20 sealed Halo heroes and over 20 sealed blind bags. Where do you start in all of this? Blind bags galore. Uh, the main blind bags that we've got today are Maverick series. I hit the guy up saying that I hadn't got any and I know that there's a full set in here plus bonuses. So let's count up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Maverick there. Two Clash on the Ring, make that nine Maverick. And another Clash on the Ring, a Warrior Series pack, a Clash on the Ring. And another Warrior and another Maverick. Whoa, that is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 blind bags. That makes a pretty fun pile of. Ooh, look at that. They smell fresh. They, they smell like good pulls. The first thing we're gonna do is we'll get the Mavericks all lined up because I want to make a video separately where I open a full set of Mavericks. So what we'll do is we'll code these bad boys and then I'll be able to open a full set on a different video. Let's go. Okay, this is not as simple as I thought because these are all from very different production runs of the figure. So these are all different codes. This is all the same code, so I'm pretty interested what's in these four. 
I guess because we know these are all the same code, I can tear one open for you. Okay, I would love to get that ODST. The Maverick is a set that I, I just don't have any of them, really. I think I have the Black Elite, but I, I'd love them all. So let's see what I get. Three, two, one. Ooh, <laughs> it is the ODST. See, I said I'd love to get the ODST because I know this guy knows how much I like ODST. So I kind of figured that he might get me a few of them and he got me four. This silver ODST, wow. A perfect complimentary black base coat that just really makes the silver pop. And this is, wow, so beautiful. I guess we can continue on this train and open any duplicates. We'll take these two, these are both duplicates. Let's see what we get. I mean, they're all awesome. And it's the Grunt. Cool. Very nice indeed. If you watched my previous video, which was a blind bag speed build, I did not build them very fast. I actually built them pretty slow. And that was because the Billy the Grunts took so much time to build. This is not a Billy the Grunt. This is Charles the Grunt, just for the lore experts out there the domain law. We've been having so much fun in our Discord recently, joking about things like Billy the Grunt, and we have so many custom stickers to do with the domain. You should really check it out. Our Discord is so much fun. We're nearly at 400 members, which is wild. And shout out to all the admins, especially Gavin, who just keep that place so strong. Such a tight knit community. There we go. This Grunt is beautiful. I love the colors. The black mask makes the rest of his body completely contrast. He's like a nice tan color. He's got two plasma grenades. He's ready to suicide anybody who comes close to him. Next one, here we go. It's the NMPD. Yeah, it's the standard officer, or it's the standard NMPD trooper. Wow, that's cool. Sure you've seen my only site NMPD build video and I love my NMPD officers so it's so cool to get this one with a nice blue undersuit very nice there we go three maverick packs and I just love that mega blocks sort of made all of the colors pop with each other they make a really nice set together whoa we are so far into the video, yet we have so many Halo heroes still to go. We'll start off with what everybody probably clicked on this video for, a full set of Halo heroes series 12. So the ones that you have already seen in this video, we've got another Elite Ultra, a Marine Sniper, and a Brute Warrior. And then we've got some new figures and these Wow, these look beautiful. The one that I think has captured everyone's hearts the most is this Spartan Gungnir. Everybody online says it's just a perfect figure. It might be one of the highest quality Halo heroes we've ever seen, even with a robotic arm, just like cats. It's so Halo Reach-esque. I hate 343 era Gungnir. I think it, ju it just looks so trashy. This is proper Gungnir. Hey, the green metallic is excellent. Ah, oh, even like a gold dot on his eyepiece. Wonderful figure, wonderful figure. We've got a full set of Halo Hero Series 12, but here at the domain, we ain't playing, okay? I've waited long enough for Halo Hero Series 12, so we've got way more. Here's another Spartan Mark 7, another Spartan Recon, Brute Warrior, Spartan Gungnir, Marine Sniper, and Elite Ultra. That is another full set of Halo Heroes Series 12. So many of them are wonderful to army build. We've got the Spartan Recon. Oh, pop that open. He was excited to get out of the packaging. And the Spartan Mark 7. There we go. Very nice indeed. Mega Constructs has made so many different iterations of Spartan Recons. They're all awesome. And this one is no exception. The Halo Reach style assault rifle, which I have absolutely praised in my Master Chief vs. Brute Warrior Battle Pack video. Yeah, his, his dry brushing is a little intense compared to the rest of his armor, which has none. I don't really know why Mega Constructs has decided to do this, but they've put the scope of the assault rifle separately. Like, you have to slide it on yourself. Once you put it on, like, it's a, it's a neat accessory for sure, but once you put it on, 
it looks only slightly different and has the danger of falling off and getting lost. And then we've got the Mark 7, the one that has stirred the internet being a prototype Spartan armor that wasn't really in full development. Everybody's been speculating as to why this is a figure that's being produced by Mega Constructs and how it's related to Halo Infinite. Jonathan, at the domain's best guess, is that the Master Chief is going to Halo Reach in a new novel, and in that novel, they're going to recommission some old prototype Spartan armors to help fight the banished and the created. Really cool idea. And he comes with this awesome new weapon that, wow, it has way more printed detailing than expected. It's a little strange how he's got one red, one gray arm, but I, I dig it, I think it's pretty cool. That completes my Halo Heroes Series 12. I can't believe we aren't even done for today. We have a big Series 11 haul today. We've got the Spartan Operator, Spartan CQC, Arbiter, Repo Marami, Master Chief Overshield, Lang ODST, which I apologize, I confused to be a guy when it's actually a girl in one of my last videos. And then we've got three heroes that are not Halo. Wait, wait, not Halo? On this channel? You better believe it. We've got the Predator, Mega Constructs Black Series. Amazing looking figure. Kratos from God of War. Really awesome. I mean, I don't own a PlayStation, so I've never played it, but I've heard amazing things. And Claptrap from Borderlands. I love this little robot, he's so fun. And the last thing for today, another Halo Infinite set. It's one of the cheapest, but it's I think it's probably the best set we've ever seen for army building. Can you guess what it is? It's the Halo Recon Getaway. This epic new mongoose that comes with two marines, an elite and a grunt, all in Halo Infinite design. You can build it into a boat as well, I'm not sure why you would, but you can. Miss Rhea Armory did an epic review of this, and so has many other YouTube channels. I've just been dying to get hold of some Halo Infinite sets, and today's my lucky day, I guess. Here we go, the Halo Infinite Recon Getaway add that to the collection. So basically, that is the haul for today. An outrageous amount of heroes and other figures, so many blind bags, the Halo Master Chief vs. Brute Warrior Battle Pack, the Recon Getaway, and the new Warthog. Outrageous, so many awesome sets. Thank you all very much for tuning in today. This was another video with The Domain, and I'd just like to thank you for your patience. I've basically not been uploading while I've been moving to Hong Kong, but I'm settled in my new apartment. I'm finally gonna get Wi-Fi in about five days, and things are going to explode on this channel. I'm talking uploads every other day for the foreseeable future. Please let me know what videos you wanna see first. I'm gonna do stop motion builds and reviews, some fast builds, some speed challenges, all sorts of amazing videos, some dioramas to do with all of these sets, but let me know in the comments below what you would like to see first. This is another video with The Domain, and the Recon Getaway, which is the set I'm probably most excited to open, is signing off. Da 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 da! Halo Infinite got delayed, but never mind. <laughs> it's just more time to make videos before release. Yeah, we'll see you next time.